Hello students, let's look at some important graphs in chemical kinetics. First of all, we'll look at first order reaction and graphs related to it. There's a differential rate law for a first order reaction. The first one is uh, rate of the reaction versus concentration of reactant. Rate directly depends on concentration of the reactant. So this is the graph of straight line that apparently passes through region with the slope equal to K. The second graph concentration of reactant versus T concentration of reactant decreases exponentially with time in a first order reaction. This is how it varies. Third, rate versus time. Now, because concentration of the reactant decreases exponentially with time, so rate also decreases exponentially with time. Initial rate being K into A naught, and then this rate decreases exponentially with time. Next graph, log of AT versus T. Log of AT equal to log of A naught minus KD divided by 2.303 so using this we can make a plot it's a linear graph whose slope is negative next graph ln AD versus T when the base is E here again you have a linear graph whose slope would be equal to minus k. Okay. Next is uh, T half. The half life of a first order reaction is 0 0.693 by k and is not dependent on initial concentration, so it is constant. Okay. So these are important graphs for a first order reaction. Let's move to a zero order reaction. Now, graphs of a zero order reaction. zero-order reaction rate is constant so this is how the graph will be with a constant value k next graph rate versus t rate doesn't change with time for a zero-order reaction and the constant value is k next concentration of reactant versus t concentration of reactant decreases linearly in a zero-order reaction so this is how the graph would be with slope equal to negative k. Next, half life of a zero order reaction, which is directly dependent on initial concentration. So, this is how the graph would be with slope 1 by 2k. Okay, let's see graphs for a second order reaction let's see the first graph as rate of a second order reaction 
is given as this rate directly depends on e square so this is the graph whose slope is equal to k second graph rate versus a as a increases this is how our rate increases next graph is 1 by a t versus t a is this is concentration of the reactant so using this relation the graph would look like this a linear graph whose slope is equal to k next is half life for a, a second order reaction half life of a second order reaction is given by this result t half depends inversely on a not so this is how the graph will look like okay Next up, the graphs based on Arrhenius equation. These are two important graphs based on these equations. Uh, the first one, ln k versus one by t, uh, would be a linear graph whose slope is negative equal to minus e a by r. And the next one, log k when the base is ten, is also linear. But slope is different, equal to minus e a divided by two point three zero three r. So we have learned some important graphs of chemical kinetics today. Try to understand them, practice them, and uh, in case you have any queries, you can post the queries in comments. We can try to answer them. Thank you.